The thing I want to talk about in this video is what another thing I want to talk about really is my journey throughout 2015. Me and Matt had all throughout 2014 just been talking to each other as we walked to school. We talked to each other about you know we should start a gaming series based on the Halo timeline. Like, because everyone doesn't know the correct Halo timeline that the games are put in. A lot of people really don't. And Matt did. And we wanted to do something that would commemorate that as Halo 5 came out. Now, we didn't finish that by the time of Halo 5. Heck, we're not even, like, over halfway through. We're stuck on Halo 2. But I'll get more into that. So, as of July-ish, was when I really started getting into YouTube. I started watching people like Ray. I, I watched Jacksepticeye ages before that, but it wasn't anything too serious. But then as of July came in, I started watching a lot of people here, there, and everywhere. And you'll see as I did a lot of vlogs then, because I didn't have the Elgato that I use now. So I did do a lot of vlogs just of talking about like game aspects of what I like. And a couple of them did pretty well. And as more games come out, I probably might do some more of uh, some of my other games that I have here, because it, I have a lot of games that I want to play. And Hopefully with the increase in videos I can actually, hopefully with the increase in videos I can play a lot more of them for you guys. Um, I'm going to try and refrain from recording a lot of videos then to edit them all as, um, as like, like that because if I have a lot recorded then it becomes kind of out of date the information that's within them. So at the moment I'm going to finish editing off this vlog. Maddie's finishing off the bomb and stuff, she's a bit behind on that. She's, She's been having a lot of troubles with it. So the first actual proper set of videos, and that will be about four or five videos worth of gameplay. I am literally about three or four hours worth work away from finishing her intro and then setting that all up for her so that anything that she edits, she can have that in. She has the full credits towards it and everything like that. Just a little fix up here and there of music and all that kind of stuff. Um, but as of October and November, 2014, I'm not sure which one it was, was when we actually started recording. Uh, we started editing the Halo Wars because that was the first in the series and that was very hard and a, a very unpopular game for a lot of people to watch but it was something that we still wanted to play and wanted to do. I never finished that game's campaign and I'm, I haven't, a, a lot of the Halo campaigns I haven't finished. I haven't finished Halo 4, I thought I did but apparently I didn't. I didn't finish um, 1 or 2, I never played 1 or 2. Really, I never finished Halo 3. I only played Halo ODST, Halo 4, Halo Reach, and Halo 5. I never, I haven't completed any of them besides ODST, Reach. Yeah, ODST and Reach. Wow. Suck. Finished recording first season, which was Halo Wars. Then we got into Halo Reach, and it kind of picked up a bit on views here and there everywhere. But you know, it's not really that much. Then Matt decided to bring some more towards the channel because it was hard to constantly edit Halo in the way that we wanted to. We wanted it to be like a let's play thing where we leave as much of it in as possible but it felt a bit boring so I tried to cut out as many of the boring parts to get rid of like 10 or so minutes of just us wandering around and not knowing what to do kind of thing. Matt didn't know how to really do that kind of stuff. I knew where I wanted it to go but he didn't so that's why he tended to veer off to other kind of videos such as like Total War and The Forest and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which is when he actually started to talk to me about Total War Attila. Well, we did a fuckload of videos now. We did like 45, 46 episodes on that um, over about three or four weeks worth of recording. And it took about four and a half months to edit it all. So it was really out of date because the fact that we recorded so much and just so many goes because we just got so excited about playing it. And because of the way we were doing it, we were both doing two diplomas. Um, I had work, but he didn't have the time, and then it was just a matter of editing, and it just drained us. We couldn't really get anything done, and then obviously that took its toll on kind of us wanting to play Halo 2, which means we stopped after having many problems with the, with the Halo 2 campaign, uh, which I believe they're all fixed now, but at the moment I don't want to have to do it on my own, uh, because as of January, March, April, May, June, June or July, it was just before, just before Avcon, about a month and a half before Avcon, um, Matt, me and Matt had kind of gotten into a rough patch and we argued a lot and then it was kind of like, well, you know, you're not a part of this YouTube channel anymore, you've, you've not wanted to be a part of it at all, you've been, well, you had, but you just haven't been showing the effort towards it and you've been putting it all on me and then you're not helping me when I need it and kind of stuff. Because he's he was never really the person to do a lot of work fast. He knew he knew we could do it, but it was like 
the motivation levels. I don't blame him for that. A lot of people have problems with motivation. I have a lot of problems with motivation. But it was to the point where it made us argue and fight. So then I hadn't, I hadn't talked to him for about three or four months. And that's when I started to do this on my own. That's when the whole channel got rebranded to 63Z instead of GCG. And it's going to stay a 63Z. So I've just been doing a lot of games on my own and trying to do some stuff here, there and everywhere with Maddie and all, a couple of one-offs and a couple of indie games. And I tried doing Honey Pop for a bit, but it was a bit hard to know how to edit because at the point in time, I was just experimenting with new software like OBS and... I was properly trying to figure out how to make my Elgato work without it getting lag and that was about the time I just started using my new computer as well so it didn't it was kind of hard to get it all sorted then it got to the point where another three or so months went past and that's when I started to do the course more into it and that was when Matt had left that was when I made it so I'll be doing a video Wednesday and Sunday and I I barely ever broke that broke that promise I there was a couple times when it messed up and I accidentally un unscheduled something so I was like okay well that's going to be the upload for Wednesday and they'll just have it now and then I'll wait till Sunday to do the next one kind of thing. I started to do the course more in in the place where I actually go to uh, so I can get a lot more of it done. If I had done that from the very beginning I would be almost done with it really like going in there made it so much easier and they have such faster internet so I could upload videos faster for you guys so I had like seven or eight videos all edited at once so I could up upload them all, schedule them all four weeks worth of videos so I can focus four weeks just on fucking up this course and then spend another couple days to edit up, like a couple more videos to then give me another week to edit even more videos to then do more work on this course and it's just I've, I've been trying to keep this going as long as I can and I'm not going to quit this year I'm going to try my hardest this year I'm not going to stop and my goal for it was 50 subscribers by Avcon. If I don't get 50 subscribers by Avcon, as I'm doing this other diploma, I won't mainly focus on YouTube. I'll, I'll still watch YouTube, I'll still tweet out to anyone who tweets to me, and I'll still comment on any video, any videos other people comment on to me. And every now and then I'll probably upload a video, but it's not like I'm going to be focusing on that. I want to make sure I get this course done properly and within the time frame. That's brought us to about September-ish and then Matt started, Matt messaged me again and we kind of had a little bit of an argument about all this kind of stuff and he felt like he had done, he had done me wrong and in my mind, yeah, he kind of did, but we hadn't talked for about five or so months, considering the fact that we, we were like, I considered him as my best friend and we'd only really been friends for about two years, but I considered him like one of my best friends and the fact that we were that close friends after what had happened to not talk to him at all for five or six months, it was hard to deal with. And then a couple other things happened. A couple of other friends from school, they had actually died. And um, it's just it's just a lot happened in 2015, which was hard to go through. I think someone's coming. And that brings us up to a couple of months before the end of the year. Maddie had finished her first year of uni and once wanted to help me edit as much as she could. So I helped, I showed her a quick video of one of the ones that I did and then I showed her quickly how to edit it and like with the basics and I set it up Premiere on a computer and all that kind of stuff and then she's like well I want to edit more than this I want to actually edit something full for you so you could so you can have that bit of extra help because I know you've been struggling so that's why I gave a bomber man because it's something we did together and it's not fairly difficult to edit obviously she had a bit of troubles because she's not she's fairly new to it um, I've just been trying to help her as much as I possibly can. I've just been trying to help her as much as I can. Then a couple really good ca games came out, like Halo 5 came out, and I wanted to start doing the Let's Play on that on my own on Legendary, and it's so hard to do on my own, um, to play it on my own. Editing, it's still the same, but um, I think I got through two, two videos, and I'm still editing. I, I, was, I either finished two or four videos, and um, I've still got one more of those that session to finish that was like five or six that I just wanted to edit. Um, I'm going to edit as much of those, every single video that's on my computer right now, I'm going to edit. And then once I've finished all of them, that's when I'm going to start recording more. This is the last video I'm going to record until I've got all this edited. So the stuff you're going to see in the future is either Halo, this vlog, um, Bomberman, or I think it was Rainbow Six. Maybe. Rainbow Six, I think. I was going to do an Assassin's Creed thing and then COD, but I don't want to have to do the record the COD count. I want to play the games and like them for myself. That's why I'm not going to 
edit and record the the COD campaign as a Let's Play thing as of yet. Not many people would watch it, and it's just wasted effort on my behalf for this kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy some of the games that I've got, try and play as much of them as I can until I find something that really just starts to pick up. But I'm not going to be doing the four videos a week until after I finish these deployments. It's not going to happen straight away. It's probably going to happen in a month and a half, month or so time. Um, and that's when this is all going to start to pick up hopefully hopefully i can find a game that there's people like me playing um because all the games i've played i've actually really liked except some of the scary games like soma i've oh, i want to finish soma but i'm so scared of the game like i'm honestly scared of the game i go into my steam and i'm like oh shit soma's there and then i also got outlast for five bucks so i can play that before outlast 2 comes out um i think that would just be like a, a scared moments montage kind of thing it's not going to be a full Let's Play, which I was I was thinking I might do for Soma as of now because it's getting as a late kind of game and not many people would watch it unless it's just a scary moments like highlight reel kind of thing. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with Soma and of Outlast before Outlast 2 comes out. When Outlast 2 comes out, I'll do a full thing of that, hopefully fairly straight away, hopefully finish it completely within a month and all that kind of thing. Um, and if I, f I feel if I feel like I can edit more and edit another video more for you guys, then I will. But the the internet restrictions here is hard because I don't have fast internet. I can't upload videos that easily. If it's over like five minutes long, it can take like five hours. Like it's really really bad. Um, now I I used to do it so I'd upload it overnight, but then that does damage to the computer computer and all that kind of thing. And because of said reason. I can't really live stream. I really want to live stream, but the closest thing I can get to live streaming is literally recording like three hours worth of gameplay as if I was live streaming and then set it to live stream as I sleep overnight. I, w I would feel bad because it's like I'm not actually doing the live stream, but it's the only thing I can do because during the day everyone's trying to use the internet and it's just going to fuck me up. I can't play any online games while I live stream because I don't have good enough internet to do that. I'd have to play an offline game. I'm not sure which offline games I can do. There's a couple that I've got my mind on, but even then, the quality would be really, really poor. It'd be like below standard definition, so 480p. It'd be like probably 360 or um, 480. It'd be either or, because I don't have a good internet connection whatsoever. By no means do I have a good internet connection. Um, I don't know how to live stream properly, and I don't have this all OBS system properly set up. I'm trying to find good settings for me to live stream with, but it's hard. As of this moment, I'm trying my hardest to get all this done for you guys because I really want to fuck 2016 up and I want you all to be there with me. I'm sorry this went on for so long. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole thing, obviously, because if you haven't watched the whole thing, you're not going to be hearing me say this, so fuck me. Then uh, Anyone who has watched the whole thing, I thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy what's going to come in the later part of this year. Um, from, the third, from the second quarter onwards of the year, first quarter is going to be hopefully me fucking the rest of this course up because I've just finished the last part of one unit and I've got my nano kit unit to go and then a final project unit to go, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, and then I've got those other two units which are apparently towards setting up meetings and then also managing and making presentations. So those two I can do perfectly fine, it's just a matter of getting it all done, which is time consuming. And then I've got another two more units which I don't actually know what they are just as of yet, but hopefully I can get them done just as fast too, shut up watch. Um, but thank you all for watching, when I get my computer parts, um, I'll be making the I'll be making an actual whole video of just how I put it together and everything like that um, and then I'll be introducing my new setup I'm hopefully gonna have a proper microphone by then as well um, instead of using the webcams um, microphone the webcams microphone so it's actually it's a pretty good quality it's just a matter of I don't like having all this background sound in it and I need a good microphone condenser a condensed microphone to, to be able to do this with it. I, Dad has a couple microphones out there, but I'm not sure what ones work too well and all that kind of stuff. I just need to go through all this and get it all sorted out. If anyone wants to know all of the parts that I'll be getting once I've actually put it together, I will definitely do a video on that. Any subs, any suggestions for games I should play, go right ahead. Um, and I'll also be thinking of doing a Gold Game of the Month video every month, playing the Gold Game of the Month. But like every every two weeks when the next gold game is out because it comes out at the start of the month and the middle of the month 
And at the moment it's Thief and Killer Instinct. I think it's a, like a Mortal Kombat kind of game, and obviously Thief is fucking Thief. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that just as of yet. I'm going to try and do Gold Games of the Month kind of thing as like a little novelty sort of thing every now and then. I'll maybe put that in on a Thursday or a Monday or a Tuesday. But considering the fact that Mondays and Tuesdays will be the day, the days I do my diploma work and I smash gym out, and then also Thursdays will be the day I do a lot of gym work. So it's like, depending on what's happened that day, is depending on if I'll be able to do a lot of recording or editing and stuff like that. So I'm just going to try and do as much as I can for you all, um, just to really do this year good. Because I want to, I don't care about the having the whole the fame tour. I like recording videos and I like editing them and I like learning this kind of stuff. Um, and I want you all to enjoy when I enjoy a moment. I want to be able to share that moment with you. Um, I don't. I couldn't give a, a two rats asses about view counts or monies. I just want people to come and watch me and enjoy themselves. Because if I can make one person smile, that's really all that matters. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I, I'm like that. And anyone who's been around me knows that I've just been pissing them off with all this other shit that I'm talking about. All these resolutions that I've just been talking about, I've been pissing everyone off around me about them. Um, there's a guy that I work with at work that I've just been pissing in his ear about PCs and stuff like that and cases, what cases should or shouldn't I get and all that kind of shit. So I'm hoping you like this. This will probably be just the vlog or the New Year's rant or fucking, I don't know, whatever I'll call it, but something like that. And, um, I, I was going to do a 2015 recap of videos, but I really, there's just something about it doesn't, doesn't seem right to me because... It just makes me think of too much of what's happened with Matt. I, he's still kind of my friend, but he's not nowhere near as close as he was. And um, as of lately, and as of September, he had a he got a girlfriend as well, and he's currently now engaged. So I'll be going to his engagement party in, on the sixth of February. I don't know any other details besides that, but anyone who is in touch with him, go and give him congratulations. Uh, and as of Yesterday, actually, it was me and Maddie's 13 months, so we've been 13 months, it's over a year now, and it's coming up on being one of my biggest relationship relationships ever. Um, my other biggest one was a one year and six months. So she's definitely given <laughs> given a good old, given a good old a try. Um, so am I, and I'm just happy with the way 2015 ended kind of thing. A couple bad things happened throughout the year, but I can't help that. But I've rambled on for so goddamn long, and probably you guys are going to click off by the time I've even finished this. There's no really point in even finishing this properly. I'm just going to cut it mid and Here we out go. in the video. I'm joking. Um, I'll just finish it here and say thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and let's fuck 2016 up. Here we out go. in the video. <laughs> Maybe chill. I feel like a drag. I don't know what you're talking about.